Scott Page here and I want to visit with you today about a really great program for making custom voice packages for your Tyrannus or your Horus. And this program is called TTS Automate. You can download it and I'll have the link in the description below. You can download it right here. There's two different versions of it. One is a full installer which installs the program onto the computer like you would any other program. And sometimes that causes problems for whatever reason. And so there's also a portable installer which just puts it into a folder and it uh, is not fully installed. I've already got it installed here, or downloaded anyway, and it comes in as a zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and use WinZip to unzip it. And that happens fa actually fairly quickly. Once it's unzipped, then I'll go ahead and I'm going to move it over here to my desktop. Okay and open it up. So here's the program, it's ttsautomate.exe and most of this you can uh, ignore. It uses um, files that are in, I believe it's called pipe delimited format, um, a PSV files, and they're similar to a text format and I'll show you how to create one in a little bit. But to begin with, I'll just go ahead and open up the program. Sally selected. Now the first time you open it up, it may give you some sort of a warning that Windows is blocking it or whatever. Uh, don't worry about that, it's not a problem and it is not have any viruses or malware attached to it. You need to start off by selecting an output directory and I've set an output directory, created one on my desktop that is OTX22. So that's where it's going to go and then I need a phrase file and I've got a phrase file already created again on my desktop. Now immediately it's giving me a warning here because I have two files that have the same name. Reset and Reset here. So what I need to do is be sure that one of them is called Reset maybe 1 and the other is called Reset 2. So now it's there's no warnings there. Um, one thing that I would want to do also is I'm going to go into the settings and I'm limited in OpenTX 2.2 to six characters in my name and then I have the dot wav suffix. So I'm going to set my limit file name length to six characters and that way it'll show me if I have any that are longer. I also want to make sure and it comes this way by default that I have a 16 kilohertz sample rate and I'm encoding to WAV files. I'll go ahead and close that. Now once I set that flag for having too many characters. I have a red box around this basic mode here, basic mod. That's because it's too many characters. I'm going to go ahead and just eliminate that one. Now over here I can choose my TTS provider. I happen to like Google. I want an English voice and I'll go ahead and get English Canada. English Canada selected. It works fairly well. And if I wanted to preview these I can listen to them. Verizon mode active. Okay, and if I maybe want to change them a little bit or maybe spell them phonetically, that'll help as well. And then once I have them the way I want, I simply hit go. It's done. It's already made them. Right here is OpenTX22, which is the folder I had them made in. And it gives me, I'll minimize that, a MP3 folder, which I don't need. I can just go ahead and get rid of that. And then a folder with Wave, and here it has all of my new sounds. So all I need to do at that point would be to open my Tyrannus SD card and in my sounds and I'm English so I'm using the EN and they would go here in the EN folder and that's really all there is to it that's that's as simple as that but maybe I want to do something more maybe I want all of my sounds to have the same voice and I've chosen a voice that I like so if I was to go and take the voice package that comes with the SD card and let me show you where that is. Let me open up my SD card again. I accidentally, well I didn't accidentally close it, it on purpose, but I shouldn't have. Open sounds, open EN, and if I look in the system folder, if I scroll down here, I'll see there is a CSV file, comma delimited file, and it's EN, US Tranus, and there's one for each of the languages in the system folder. And what that is, is this folder here, which has a list of all of the sounds 
that are in this package. And it actually does not, it looks like it's going to be just one column, but it's actually two columns. So what I want to do is I want to get this into a pipe delimited file such that I can use it with the uh, TTS Automate. So this is what I'm going to do. I'll select these two columns and I will copy them. And now I'm going to go to Microsoft Word. And you could probably do this very same sort of a thing with other programs. This is just what I happen to have. And now it has all of this into Word and it's in a table. So I'm going to go through a series of steps here that where I'm going to go to convert it to text and I want it to have it have a space between the columns with just a space. There we go. So now it's just a, a list of text. Now I'm going to set it back to a table. So I'm going to go over here insert and I'm going to convert text to table but this time I want to have it break the text at the semicolons and then that's going to put it into three columns which is what I want the directory the name and then what the sound is going to be then I'm going to need to do one other thing I want to go back here to home I'm going to replace every instance of wav.wav with nothing because I don't want those in there so that's gone now all I need to do is turn it into a, a single column of text. So I go back to layout again, and I'm going to convert this back to a text, but I'm going to use a pipe, which is the shift, and then it's a kind of a uppercase backslash. It's about between the enter and the backspace key on my keyboard. So I use the pipe. So there we have, there's the directory, and then a pipe, and then the, the name of the file, and then the pipe, and then the, the what the sound is going to be. I can scroll down through those kind of quickly. So now I'll go ahead and I'm going to save this to my desktop so I can find it easily as a text file. I'll call it sounds. I'm done with Word and I'm done with there. Okay. So it's sounds.txt. I'm going to change the suffix to .psv. So now I'll just go ahead and open this up. Sound selected. And I want to preview it, but I get nothing. Well, I need to choose my TTS provider again. And again, I've chosen Google. And then I need to choose a voice. So once again, I need to scroll down to the voice that I want. And I was using the English Canada. English Canada selected. There we go. So now I can listen to these by clicking on preview. Nine. And some of them I might want to listen to a little carefully because they might sound kind of weird. Um, I found like milliliter. Milliliter. Sounds milliliter. I can go ahead and play with this a little bit and I might try that. Milliliter. And that sounds better to me. And so some of these you may want to do phonetically. You'll also notice that some of these have the warning that they have more than six characters. These are the ones that belong in the system folder. And some of them do have more than six characters, but that's because OpenTX expects them to have these names. And I believe this is for backwards compatibility reasons. But anything that's going to be in just the EN folder, the English or the DE or whatever your language is, those need to have six characters at most. So once I have this ready, I go ahead and hit go and it will make all the sounds for me. And then those are ready to put into my transmitter. And I have made my own sound package any way I want. Well, this is Scott Page and that's all for today. I hope this helps you make your transmitter a little more personal.